Just got finished with the photo shoot. Hold on, I gotta go. You need to tell everybody about you real quick. Oh, I am a photographer and I do professional headshots and branding as well as glamour and boudoir photography. So it was awesome to be able to work with David and um, be able to highlight everything he does. That's what you do. You make people look good. She definitely made me look good, y'all. <laughs> I look good. I look good. <laughs> guys I got a confession to make it's a tough confession to make but it's one that needs to be made It's the one that needs to be made on the channel so that you guys know that I keep it a hundred percent real with you so my confession is I'm a complete 100% mark for stuff on Instagram like have you ever seen some of the deals they offer the stuff is great I've gotten t-shirts I've gotten all kinds of stuff and and because of Instagram I was able to discover this new company, well, probably not new, and it's probably not new to a lot of people on Instagram or on YouTube at all, but it's new to me, and that's what that's what counts. It's new to me. So, I discovered this company called Sketchbox. Now, apparently, Sketchbox is a, is a subscription art supply service. Try saying that 10 times fast. So, it's a su subscription art supply service. And what they do is every month they send you out this uh, box, this mystery box of art supplies that uh, you can try out and you know find out if you like them or not. So I, being the smart person that I am, okay, not very smart, but I figured when I sign up for this subscription, why not do a sketch box challenge every month? So this is pure, perfect, this is like the best production values, whatever, whatever. So, today, we're gonna do the quick unboxing and then uh, drawing of whatever, uh, something that I create based off of whatever is inside of this box. What y'all think? What do you think is inside this box? I don't know, I just got it about a week ago. I told you guys uh, last vlog I was going to do it. This is the vlog, well, vlog video. I don't know what this is, but we're going to unbox this and we're going to figure out what's inside the box. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let's get into the unboxing. All right, guys, so let's use my trusty tool to open this up. I think this will work right here. Uh, hopefully. Uh, ah. All right, let's open this up. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. All right, so what we have here, some sort of Sumi brush. All right, so we're gonna set that off to the side. A nice little brush as well. It's a flat, okay. We've got a light orange, what kind of pencil is this? A Lyra, Rembrandt. I've got a black Lyra Rembrandt. Ooh, watercolor pencils. Sketchbox signature. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Sketchbox. Ooh, ooh. I'm trying to get this out. Let me struggle. Oh, that's because there's a film over the top. Okay. So we got different colors. Uh, I got peach, looks like. Got some blues, a purple, a burgundy, a pink, pinkish. So, got all kinds of colors. Alright. Uh, got some art that came with it, cool. Got another. Maybe the rest of Sketchbox School is in session. Oh, okay, what we got here? Uh, Zig Cambio brush. Mm. Legion paper, that's what this is. Ooh. So this is a, a nice watercolor board. Okay, so we're gonna do a watercolor theme. And I got a cool sticker. All right guys, so Sketchbox 
are really kind people because they actually send you a list in the box that lets you know exactly what comes in the box. So it comes on this nice glossy um, card here, card stock. Looks really cool. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right, so one of the first things that came out the box was this Kuretake Zig Cambio brush pen. Uh, so basically they found this pen while traveling to Japan recently. It's one of the best brush pens they've ever used. Like other brush pens, there is flow regulation in place to ensure the perfect saturation of the tip. No messy spills from pumping too hard. Pause. So, so this is the Kuretake Zig Cambio brush pen. I definitely want to try this, try this out. So hold on, let's see. There's a whole lot of instructions, and they're all in Japanese. <laughs> uh oh. And then right down, there's a there's a uh, tag right here <laughs> that's in that translates. So twist off the pen nib, take off the yellow ring, and retwist the pen nib into the cartridge. The ink will slowly flow into the bristles. After a couple of minutes, see the illustration above. Let's open this up. Let's check. All right, so all right, yellow. Want to take off the buddy? Take off the take off the yellow ring. Oh, uh, this I can kind of start seeing the bristles get dark already. So it's going to take a few minutes for that. Let that do its thing. It's supposed to take a few minutes for that to have to, to go its way. All right, so one of the next things that I pulled out were the Lyra Rem Rembrandt Aquaro colored pencils. Um, oh, by the way, the brush this brush pen retails for nine dollars and eighty cent, and these Lyra Rembrandt Aquaro colored pencils uh, they retail for two dollars and twenty cent each. So it's pretty expensive pencils right here. Uh, let's see the finest pigments in a four millimeter diameter color lead can be dissolved almost completely with water They allow fascinating techniques for creating art from opaque colors to brilliant Oh from opaque colors to transparent shades The brilliance and light fastness of these colors is of the highest standard and works well with our new sketchbox signature watercolor pencils we include a light orange and black to allow a broader color range and darker shades. Okay. All right. So that's what these are. That's these are the Lyra and the Rembrandt. Rembrandt, if you don't know, uh, that's a pretty high-end art company, uh, art supply company. They make pretty high-end stuff. And with the, with these pencils being over uh, over a dollar, two dollar twenty cent retail. Yeah, you know, I can imagine what a set would run for. So, it's going to be interesting to see work with that. Now, I'm starting to get a theme here. Alright, so the next one we got is a Princeton Aqua Elite uh, one fourth stroke uh, brush. Now, this uh, normally retails for $14.45. Uh, let's see. We don't know about you, but we like our watercolor brushes extremely thirsty, and this is the best synthetic we've ever found. It's incredible at lifting and holding water and pigment. Hmm. Okay. All right. So definitely want that. Then the next thing I pulled out, of course, were these, and I'm really interested in these. These are the Sketchbox. This is their signature series of watercolor pencils. Let's see what we got here. So Sketchbox signature watercolor pencils uh, normally retails for $11.99. Uh, they've been developing this product for a little over a year and we couldn't be happier with the results. Or they couldn't be happy with the results, not we. Uh, I wasn't involved. Uh, the pigments are concentrated and they react with water gracefully. Uh, we love these pencils because they allow our artists a ton of versatility. Where they brush and lift colors right from the tip of the pencil. Shave off some powder from the tip to create beautiful washes of color or use them dry to add de detail and depth. Okay, all right. So I'm getting a theme here. So definitely got a definite theme going here. And of course, last but not least, what I'm really interested in, if you guys don't know, I am a paper fiend. So I know this is the era of the 
the digital tabs and everything like that. But I'm really, really interested. I love, I love working on different materials, different papers. It's just such a, a different feel. Um, and you get such so many different effects and things like that naturally than, than you would digitally. Now, don't get me wrong, when you get into the digital realm, there's some things that you can do that is much harder to do when you're working with paper and traditional art supplies. But I am a paper fiend, and this stuff right here, yeah, yeah, son, I'm, exper I'm, I'm expecting good things out of it. Uh, so let's see what this is called. This is called Legion Paper. It's a custom aqua hot press block. Uh, this normally retails for $12.99, which is pretty expensive considering its size. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this is a smoother texture than your cold press, right? So if you don't know, hot press normally means that it's a smooth texture, it doesn't have a tube. Cold press means that it's more of a vellum surface. Um, that's, that's really important when you're dealing with like watercolors different kind of watercolor papers and the kind of bristles bristol boards that you may be using so if like for instance my can my my Strathmore comic book boards would be more of a hot press because it's such a smooth um, it's, it's a smooth surface and that's one of the reasons why the ink line sits so brightly on top of it whereas if it's a more vellum surface the colors tend to soak in some the inks and the colors they tend to soak in so that's that's something that you want to look for so in this case uh, this is a high press surface so it's smoother so that means that the color should pop off this ink really should pop off really nice oh, wait let's see ooh look at that look at that it's almost there we're almost in we're almost in the brush zone anyway so that's what uh, smooth press I mean uh, hot press and cold press mean so when you move forward for all you young artists out there if you don't know hot press smooth surface cold press rougher vellum surface all right so let's get back to the description real quick uh let's see smooth texture a smoother texture than their cold press this block is perfect for watercolor pencils allowing you the ability to mix and blend with ease before it sets into the paper uh let's see Oh, now here's here's some fun stuff right here. Have fun. Remember to tag your art with sketch hashtag Sketchbox March. Uh, sketchbox March. Uh, I can't talk today. Uh, if you'd like to be included in a monthly contest, the winner gets their art printed on a future box lid. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, I wonder if I can. I win the I win the prize. Who knows? All right. So, Sketchbox Town Challenge. I've got the colors. I've got well. I've got everything that he, that is here that comes with the box, and now gotta make some things happen, fellas. Well, ladies and fellas, ladies, gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen. So we're not gonna exclude anybody. Uh, we're gonna make some fam. Let's say that fam. So we gotta make some things happen, fam. Um, yeah, let's do some work on this and let's see what happens. <laughs> Alright guys, so my muse for this project was the lovely Anika Noni Rose. Uh, if you don't know her, she played, uh, she was the voice actress for uh, Princess Tiana in Disney's The Princess and the Frog. And uh, she's a well-respected actress. She's just gorgeous. Um, I love her. I've been a big fan for a long time. Call me. First attempt didn't go so high. Um, what I think it was was that I was really trying to mix too many different things together in one project, and it just wasn't working. So um, the I can tell you that the colored pencils, these guys, they were really good, very soft, very, very, very good pencils. They are very good colored pencils, and I highly recommend them. But they don't work really well with these. 
as far as I can tell. They don't really work well with these watercolor pencils. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna try to do a work of art with just the watercolor pencils and see how that works out. Now the one thing I will also say, this brush pen right here, oh, it's the truth. So definitely if you guys are into inking with a brush and brush inking, this is definitely a go. So definitely get this and this paper is flat. But let's try it again with just the watercolor pencils and let's see how it turns out. <laughs> is in the book and I have to admit the signature watercolor pencil and of course this Princeton brush uh, where it's a couple of the standouts uh, this inking brush right here definitely was a standout the, uh, the Rembrandts were great and uh, but they they are limited somewhat but uh, the watercolor pencils when you just team them up they, they really work <laughs> they work so definitely definitely was worth the wait. Uh, definitely enjoy working on this paper. And this paper, guys, this paper right here, this is some of the best paper uh, ever. So uh, these guys really did the, did the duty, the due diligence, and they made a really nice uh, paper that you can use watercolors on. I highly recommend you guys get it. And in fact, um, what I'll do is I'll leave the sketch box. This is a sponsored video, by the way, so don't think it's sponsored. This is just something I'm doing. But uh, I'll leave the link to Sketchbox's website in the description so you guys can go ahead and kind of get on that train because it is kind of cool to get these cool new art supplies and really kind of work with them and kind of see what they're about. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. It was a fun, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I did my photo shoot, so look for those uh, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, just follow me on IG at DKG72. Uh, make sure you're following Kwame Hightower at Kwame Hightower on our Instagram. And of course, uh, follow that Quantum University at Quantum University The Series on Instagram. I'm going to be back next Monday with another video. Who knows what we'll do then. We'll figure it out at that point. Um, yeah, and if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, definitely trying to get to get more people involved, get build the community. Uh, we're back to our regular videos. New video will drop every Monday. Moving forward, that is a guarantee. That's what I'm sticking to. Um, so yeah, guys. Again, really happy with how this came out. Had a great weekend. Good photo shoot. Um, just all around a good time. So on that note, guys, it's your boy DKG72, and uh, I will holler at y'all next Monday. Brrr.